All across the valley, starting early this morning, folks began celebrating the 4th of July. Amanda Butterfield shows us how communities, neighbors, and friends honored the day with pancakes, parades, and picnics. Amanda? Carol, we'll begin in Bountiful, where one neighborhood puts on a breakfast every year with a very special guest. George Washington got things started. Oh, yes, sir. Then the Bountiful Police Department performed a flag-raising ceremony. My wife bought me a flagpole for Father's Day, and uh, I was the scoutmaster, and we need to do flag ceremonies. It has been eight years since Tom Hill started inviting his neighbors, and he also invites a veteran to talk. This year, it was Alden Rigby, who was just recently inducted into the Utah Aviation Hall of Fame. And the family and the neighborhood like this, it doesn't get any better. Last year, the guest speaker was POW survivor Lieutenant Colonel Jay Hess. I got shot down in Vietnam in 1967. They just have a story to tell that uh, sometimes is forgotten. While Rigby was reliving his story of shooting down four enemy planes during World War II's Battle of the Bulge, folks in Ogden were cheering. The North Ogden Cherry Days Parade is celebrating its 75th anniversary this year. Throughout the day, there's been sporting events, booths to visit, and tonight the city will host fireworks at the Weber High School Stadium. In Salt Lake, there was music. We come to celebrate the greatness of this country. The Salt Lake City Mission served nearly 2,000 meals to the homeless. We'll be cooking tons of hot dogs. Back in Bountiful, it was pancakes on the grill. I think it's wonderful. It's, it's a great way to get together as a, as a community and, and enjoy one another's company. And Hill says he'll keep having this breakfast every 4th of July as long as people keep showing up. I was raised to where you just, uh, you you be patriotic, you know, and I'm proud to be an American. I mean, it just comes right down to that. And as long as military heroes like Rigby will keep sharing their stories. One nation under God, that's the whole story. And I'll tell you, those were really good pancakes that they cooked and served up. Now, tonight, another big celebration in Provo. Of course, the Stadium of Fire. You will see a lot of KSL faces there. And if you'd like to stay in tonight, right here on Channel 5, we will be airing the Real Salt Lake game. Back to you. Thanks. They don't have to go anywhere. Thanks, Amanda.